Well hello everyone, welcome to the channel and in today's video we're discussing Netflix's decision with password crackdown. Stick around to hear about our thoughts. So as Jacob mentioned, uh, recently in Australia and other countries around the world as of the 24th of May 2023, Netflix has stopped the use of password sharing with people that aren't in your primary household. So Indeed. from your understanding, what does that mean? It means that eventually you won't be able to use the person that is letting you share account unless they give you option to or you ask their IP address. Yeah, so Netflix is saying that they've released data that large proportion of and up to maybe 20% of all users that are on Netflix are actually sharing someone else's account and they believe that that's money that they should be receiving instead of being handed out for free that these people should create their own account or now they can join as a sub account uh, in that way so netflix can regain the the money that's believed to be owed to them so that they can continue to put out a good product what do you think about that from a business sense i can definitely understand their point of view but from a customer sense i kind of like this sharing uh, streaming service that we've got one person pays for one or two, shares those streaming services, and then you share from other people that you know. To me, that makes sense. But I, I fear that from a business sense that Netflix will, the, the other streaming service will let Netflix test the waters and then now they'll start with the same train as well. Yeah, it's a unique concept and streaming services are a unique product in a sense that they can be shared. There's not too many other things you can do that with. Like, I can't go see a movie and then somehow share my experience with Jacob or Jacob can then go see it another time, but I've only paid for one ticket. You pay for admission, you get in. It's the same going to theme parks or pretty much anything. Like, the fact that you can do that with this type of product makes it very, very unique and it does open the floodgates for people going, well, if it's 20 bucks a month and I get 10 of my mates and we share passwords, we only have to put in $2 each. It makes sense and it was always going to happen. But as a business, I guess they feel they deserve to be paid and they probably do. It just sucks as a consumer that we now have to pay more if you are part of this, uh, net, this uh, password sharing economy. Yeah. Is there services that you um, currently share with people? Yes, Disney Plus and Apple. Mm. I'm in the same boat. I have a, a group of people that we share the passwords for all our services and we collectively pay our share of it and it's worked really nicely. But I think now with Netflix implementing this, it's going to be a different story. Do you think you will keep Netflix now that you potentially have to pay for it yourself or pay for a sub account? Uh, well, it's up to the person that I share with, but I guess eventually might get our own account got to got to wait it up do you think it's it's worth it do you think if you had to pay for your pay $22 potentially to get netflix for your own household is netflix worth that hopefully there's like a year option that disney plus and apple do i think the year option is a lot better than the monthly option i would hope netflix does that yeah you could definitely save some money i really don't think i i will or mm. i definitely don't want to i don't feel like i watch netflix enough but in saying that if i was i'm not ruling out i won't rejoin later but maybe i'll just give it a break maybe i'll unsubscribe and six months could go past and there's not a single thing I want to watch on it and that's six months worth of money saved. Unless Cobra Kai comes back. <laughs> yeah, if a show like that does come back, could subscribe for that month, quickly binge watch your stuff. It's, it's that, that might be the new practice instead of paying constantly every month and do it that way. Do you think this is going to hurt Netflix or they'll actually make more money doing this way? I think in a way they'll make more money but in a way they'll lose money. I think it'll be 50-50. Okay, well, what makes you think, what, what part of you think is going to help them make money? Well, obviously there will be people that will be like, oh, I've been getting it for free so long, I, I should pay it for myself. And there will be some people that will go, oh, I don't want to pay it. I've had it good long while, I'll just be happy. So you're saying, let's say they've got this many users currently and they're sharing with this many people, they're going to lose a few users here, but these people that are not paying for it are going to jump to this side and we'll push it up a little bit? Yeah, or even now. Yeah. 
I think a lot of people are going to reassess the way they do it. And they might even look at it my way. They might go, well, mm. I was just, you go, we just paid it every month and we didn't bother because if I wasn't watching it, John that I'm sharing with, he's watching it, it evens out. But then you go, well, now if I've got to pay for it myself, I'll get rid of it. So I think they're going to go from getting someone paying every month ongoing to going, I'll pay for one month, I'll have a few months break. I'll pay for two months, I'll have a few break. And they'll just, it'll depend on shows. So they're going to have to start bringing out more reasons to get you to want to continually subscribe. And I don't know if Netflix are doing that. I no, personally I don't, don't think, so. think they are. No. There's other people out there that probably love the content that's on there, but it's not appealing to me like others. No, I agree with that. Where, as you said, if we bring out this yearly thing, you go, well, I pay for the year now, I better start using it. Or if you don't, like, well, I've already paid for it. Yeah. And comparing to other services, if this was to happen with Disney+, Plus, let's say you couldn't share it with someone, and let's say they didn't have the year model, you had to pay monthly, would Disney Plus be worth it? I think so. Mm. But something like Binge, you reckon that would be worth it in Australia? Yeah, it has quite good consistent content. Amazon? Yes, but they don't have as, except for the boys, they have okay shows. I think for Amazon, for me, that would be one I would kick off pretty quickly because mm. I only want to watch it for a very slim period in time. That's when the boys come out. So subscribe throughout the whole, whatever, 10 weeks or so the boys are coming out for. Or you could wait till after the 10 weeks and binge it in one month once it's all released. But yeah, it's tough decisions ahead and Netflix are taking the risk and we'll see what they'll do. So you reckon other streaming services are going to jump on board? I think so. I think this is going to start a trend for other companies to join suit. I don't see why they wouldn't. Well, it makes sense. Like, for instance, let's say people had to pay to watch our YouTube videos. And suddenly they go, well, I'll pay for it, but I'm going to share it with everyone else. And we're, and you're sitting there going, oh, well, if people, everyone paid for it, we, we let's say we get a dollar per person. You go, well... That one person sharing with four people, you go, well, that's four extra dollars I could have had here. Mm. So at, from a business, you'd feel a bit let down. Mm. So you can see why they're doing it, but it just hurts when it's coming out of your own pocket, especially with everything getting more expensive. Yeah. Well, I guess it brings it up. Are we more loyal towards the service or the shows? I, I personally think the shows. Yeah, I don't have a preference to service. I base it upon shows, but I also don't go, well, I haven't watched this, this service in a while. I better give it a watch. But now I think maybe I will. If, yeah. if, if they all become, you've got to pay per household, I'll have to go, well... Share your time. Well, yeah, because well, if I'm paying for this, I better use it. Where yeah. currently I don't feel that way. If I'm not watching Amazon Prime, someone else is watching it. If I'm not watching... Stan, I know that someone else in my group of people that are sharing are watching. Mm. So you go, well, that's fine. But if you had to pay for each one, I think I'd start removing them. And maybe you just have to pick one and be loyal to it or find content. Because there is enough content on every streaming service. We're just spoiled for choice when you've got so many to choose from. And what would your top three be? I really, really like Disney because obviously they get the FX content and Disney bring out probably some of the best content out of all the streaming services. They're very consistent now in what they're bringing out. I think I could definitely find something on there. If I, if I just had that to choose from, I reckon I could find enough stuff on there. I'm really liking Binge here in Australia because you get a lot of the HBO Max stuff. So I reckon I could find enough content on there. Plus it comes with all the, like, Fox, a lot of Foxtel channels. I think Netflix would make the list because it does have a lot of historical content, but I reckon I could survive with just the first two, but if I had to pick a third, then it would make it. What about yourself? Well, I already paid for Disney Plus and Apple, so I guess, yeah, but probably binge. Uh, I, I think quality is better over quantity, and for me, I think those three probably have the best shows. Netflix is just known for having... You know it has the most on it, but surprisingly, I don't think it has as much good stuff on there. Mm. And if you just were stuck with one service, I bet you could find stuff on there. It's you're lucky enough to have so many. Mm. But if someone said you can only afford one, I reckon you'd find you'd find something to watch. You'd go through their catalog. Like I don't think anyone out there has watched everything on Netflix, nor will anyone ever watch everything that's mm. ever been on Netflix. So you'll find something. You just might miss out. You might go, oh, I really want to watch The Boys, but it's on Amazon Prime, but I don't have Amazon Prime. So that would hurt a bit, but you'd find something. You're not going to be sitting there staring at a blank wall. 
Well, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, you're awesome and keep being awesome and see you next time. Bye-bye.